Meanwhile, people at LAX followed those attacks very closely. KCAL 9's Jennifer Kastner is live outside the terminals with the impact on travelers. Jennifer. Susie, so the last flight to Paris tonight took off about 10 to 15 minutes ago, and we talked to some of those passengers before they got on the airplane. They said they're feeling emotional and apprehensive. Passengers lined up Friday night for the last flight out to Paris from LAX. From overhead, Sky 9 captured Air France Flight 77 before it traveled to the runway for departure. Traveler Medea Smith spent the afternoon debating whether to even fly. We had our travel agent. I was on the phone. To this second, we were thinking, should we cancel? Should we go? Should we not go? I was a little nervous, especially when my colleague from work, her, her sister lives in, in, uh, in Paris, and uh, the bomber was not too far from her house. We stopped doing what we're doing because of these terrorist acts. Then the terrorist, terrorist win. Passenger Alicia Piani had a connection in Paris, but was hoping to change that at LAX. I would not like to live tonight on this flight. I need to go back, so I hope to find another way to go back. Outside the terminals, there was visible security. Yep. Airport police and their canines spent the night patrolling LAX as usual. A police representative said security measures were not increased, but officers were monitoring the situation closely. There have been no credible threats reported at LAX or any of the Los Angeles World Airports. And we talked to some other airlines tonight about their flight schedules in light of this horrible tragedy. As for American Airlines, they confirmed they did cancel one flight tonight from Dallas to Charles de Gaulle. Uh, as for Delta, all flights from the United States to Paris are continuing as normal. Back to you.